Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You are back with Mystery Meerkat, and again today we're playing some, some more Two Point Hospital for you guys. Um, so I'm just going to jump straight into this now. In the last episode, we finished, um, I believe, the uh, the second and the third stars um, are fluttering, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, so now we're moving on, and it's uh, going to be Mitten University, I believe, that we're going to do next. Um, we have a choice between Mitten University and Tumble. In the last episode, I did say that would start this one. Um, so let's get straight into this, load it straight up, and see how we do. Um, now, depending on how long this takes, really, uh, will, de will depend on whether I split it into two or not. Um, as we go further through the game, we might have to just sort of start doing the first star from each level, just so that we can get through and progress quicker. Um, because doing all three stars on each level is uh, getting quite uh, quite difficult. But let's uh, let's see what we've got. Um, so the vice chancellor of Mitten University has been impressed with our progress, and we've been invited to establish Mitten University Research and Teaching Hospital. This is a great opportunity for us. We can set up a research department and develop some new tech. We'll only be able to recruit student doctors and nurses here, so we'll need to train them up. Mitten University will provide us with extra funds for each person we train and each research project we complete. Firstly though, we'll need a research license. The Ministry will grant us one if we can demonstrate our technical prowess by establishing a hospital with some upgraded machinery. Okay, so let's... Uh Temperature. Some parts of the county are quite cold or too hot. We'll need to keep people comfortable by ensuring they're warm enough, but not, uh, but also not too warm. If people are too cold or too hot, they can become unhappy and may eventually leave. In cold locations, place radiators around the hospital. In hot lo locations, we'll need air conditioning. Use the temperature visualisation mode to identify cold and hot areas of the hospital. Make all of the hospital a comfortable temperature to maximise our thermal comfort rating. Okay, so we're not bothered too much about that at the moment. Let's have a look. Um, so this is the entrance. It's quite a nice little building, actually, that's set out. We're going to have to obviously expand into these, I would imagine. But yeah, it looks, uh, it looks quite nice, actually, with a helipad in the middle. So, let's get this started off. Now, we're going to build a reception first and foremost. Now, I don't know whether to build a reception area like this. Uh, we're going to do one, two... And maybe just sort of... Okay guys, so I've got my basic hospital up and running. Um, this is basically what we've gone for. We've got a GP's office, uh, we've got our pharmacy, uh, we've got general diagnosis and cardiology, uh, we've got a psychiatrist, a uh, deluxe clinic and a ward. I'm going to buy one of these, um, which I might as well just start at now, um, so that I can get the rest of my stuff in there. And then we'll probably buy this other one at a later date. We've got a nice big reception and I'm going to make a nice big waiting area around the reception, um, which should be quite good. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So we need to hire some people in here. Um, so we're going to go assistance first, and we're going to, going to get Belinda Pleb, which is uh, quite a yeah, it's an interesting name, shall we say? And uh, we need a janitor. Uh, this guy's got ghost capture, and he's got maintenance one and two. He's not got upgradable skill, um, which we do need to complete the first star on this level. Oh, uh, to get the research license. Sorry, to to this level. Um, and we need some nurses. They're all the same. Uh, how many nurses do we need to get? Let's say two for now. I would say, and then two doctors. Uh, not got none that have got any psychiatrist qualifications yet. So you need to. Actually, I'm not going to bother with that guy yet. Let's get ball rolling um, whilst we do this side of the hospital. What do we need? What have we not got? Uh, we need staff room, toilets, training, hands lab, clown clinic. Um, I think training is probably most important at the moment. We're just going to pop that straight in here. Right. I'll do it for the training room. Now the first thing is first, what we need to do, uh, we need to get somebody on psychiatry, get that guy in, and then start that training straight away. Yeah. We got, I think we've got two people waiting to go in for the psychiatrist, and we've not got no psychiatrist, which is a bit shit. So let's uh, speed up time. Uh, what other stuff do we need? We need a staff room, toilets. There we go. 
go. Uh, I think that'll do us for for now. We need a pan's lab and a clown clinic at some point, but we're okay for the minute. So let's get time speeded up. What we do need to do create some waiting areas. So we've got here, bug walls discovered, staff training, ward emergency, four patients with lazy bones. Yep, why not? Right, I think we've got psychiatrist now. So Just pause that. We need to look at hiring with a doctor, I think. This guy. a machine which we can't do until we've had the janitor in there for some training um what else can we do i don't think we need any nurses at the moment then we've got two nurses one assistant one janitor so we can have a research hospital. Let's continue on with doing our reception area. Okay guys, so now we have our reception area. We have all our rooms. We've got our toilet, our staff room, we've got our training room. Um, and then we've also done the nice little reception area which is looking pretty spectacular as if I do say so myself. Um, so yeah, just waiting for this guy to upgrade this machine and then we should have done it enough for the research license. We do need some money. Like desperately need some money. I'd like you to all Okay there we go, so We've done the research license. Great news, the Two Point Health Ministry has granted us a research license. This will allow any of our hospitals to research new machines, upgrades and more. To kick off a research project, we'll need a research room and a doctor with a research qualification. Diagnosis and treatment of patients can also contribute to research progress. Harvesting ghosts can also be very enlightening. Okay. Been doctoring research. So these are the one star objectives. Uh, we've got to uh, train a doctor in research, complete chromotherapy research project and cure a patient in chromotherapy. Um, so that's going to be a while off because we've only got like 12,000 right now. Um, and a profit of 2,000 2, at the minute. And we need to hire another nurse I think. Let's have a look at our thermal comfort. Um, go everywhere is cold. Absolutely everywhere is cold. So we'll need to uh, we'll need to sort that out at some point, I think. We just got five thousand from Mitten University. somebody up in research because we need it 
14 people waiting for the GP's office. That is really bad. Bay. Now you can order your extra crunchy burgers without leaving the comfort Stuff of your promotion. car. And remember, order more than 10 Roach Burgers and get a free Roach Shake. Roach, Roach Burgers! 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. Hmm. Thinking maybe move this. Make it smaller. Don't need. Don't need it to be as big as what it is. I don't think. You got Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. Harrison Wolf here on Two Point Radio. Remember, I'm not here to entertain oh, you. Oh, we've got yearly reviews coming. Can I get another doctor? Here we go. So let's, uh, as we always do, let's just open them all. Uh, we've got Rising Star and Employer of the Year. That's all we've got this time around. Um, Challenge of the Month, Kyoten Pageants, why not? Uh, staff Promotion. Right. Need some more nurses as well. Scotty Fidget, you will do. Illness discovered, lightheadedness. Yeah, we already got room for that, which is fine. Right, so it looks like we've got some money now. So what I'm going to do, guys, uh, I'm gonna buy this plot. And then we're going to pause the game for a second. We've got a special report. We cleared three out of four. Um, Okay, this is bad. We've never had this before. Augustus Lavender from Holistics contacted us to offer his condolences. Apparently, our hospital is located in a pocket of negative energy that even healing crystals can't fix. Thanks. Um, send patient home. Not now. Object to that for now. Now. Right, this dude. Patient to wait, because I think I'm going to do the clown clinic now if I can. Um, the pan's lab and the clown clinic. How, how big does this need to be? Right, guys. I think that was the final room. So we've got our research room. We've got our, our pan's lab down there. Um, we've got the clowns thing. Um, Still got our training room, still got psychiatry, ward. Yeah, I think we're I think we're good so far. Um, so let's speed this up. Start a research project either click on the research pod or drop a researcher into the room. In the research screen you can select a project from the available projects list. Once a project has been started, you'll need a doctor with a research qualification to carry out the work. Uh, they will contribute research to the project over time based on their research skill. Uh, research is shared across the whole organization as are the discoveries that we make. You can start a project in one hospital and then continue work on it in another hospital. That's pretty cool. So we've got our research lab going. Um, I think, yeah, we've, we've already got chromotherapy on there. Um, now we need to, I think we need to look at possibly hiring some more doctors and nurses right now. Um, so let's hire that doctor and let's hire that nurse. Um, do we need any more assistants and janitors? Yeah, we'll hire another assistant. Hire another janitor, perhaps. It's already been upgraded. The extractor pan can be upgraded. The looks of looks can be upgraded. And the fire wants to be upgraded. The heart racer wants to be upgraded. So does the easy scan. We go. Right, I think we've already done the uh, the repair or requested the repair on that. 
stuff training. Ow. Oh. Illness monkey feet. Okay, let's have a look. I've got psychiatry too. Um, get that guy straight on that. I've had a lot of deaths in this teaching hospital, but I'm presuming it's just because it is a teaching hospital that we have a lot of deaths in it, unfortunately. Um, if that is the case, then it's, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, our uh, hospital's looking pretty good so far, I think. Uh, I don't think we're doing too bad. Um, it's rather difficult, though, with, the, with not being able to like, actually hire doctors that have got quite a lot of skills. Um, so it's just a sort of, uh, I don't know, we're just going to have to go through this and just try our best with it. Speed is already fast. Doesn't look like it though, does it? You know? I'm not entirely sure we've actually ever had a look at what the clown machine thing does. I don't, I don't actually think we've got any patients that, uh, that are clowns right now. Um, there's nine people waiting for this room? Cardiology, wow. Okay. Um, I think we might need another cardiology room, perhaps. Challenge and 100,000 shouldn't be too hard. Hmm. I definitely think we're going to need another cardiology room at some point. I'm unhappy with the hospital, storming out, top of it, desperate for the toilet, very hungry, very thirsty. The hospital for 134 days. Ooh, that's not good. Our hospital's not working the best at the moment. I think if we get some waiting areas down here and everything, I think it'll uh, even out a lot better. Um, as long as we're still earning money, it's really all that matters to me at the moment. Being able to get the chromotherapy research done um, would certainly help on that one. Let's get these guys trained up as well. Uh, circus incidents. Seven patients with the chest infection. Well, we've got a clown clinic, so I guess we'll get to see what... Uh, Clown clinic thing does. Here we go. Let's have a look what actually happens with this guy. <laughs> Okay, so they show him loads of sad photos and stuff. And then he comes out and he's a normal guy again. Okay, so... Quite a few people waiting there. Not to disturb the flora. Review imminent. Got yearly reviews here, guys. So, let's see whether we won any more awards than we did last year, which is highly doubtful, I would suspect. We shall see. Come to Bungle Medi-Tech, where... Open wall, as always. Oh, so we got Rising Star and Employer of the Year again. No? It's not too bad. Bungle Staff Medi Challenge, earn 100,000, that's easy. Ours will leave you speechless. Staff Promotion. Hours a day. This yeah. Is two point radio. I think we could probably do with moving this honest. Pause this a second, and I'll be back in a moment, guys. I'm just going to uh, sort this room out, make it a bit more, a bit better, really. All right, guys. So what we've done, uh, first and foremost, we made this toilet a lot bigger on this side, so it's a lot, uh, a lot better. Um, we've moved some, some things around as well. Uh, I've got my staff room here. Um, Obviously the training room here, I think this has already left this way. I've moved the ward, uh, the ward is now over here, and it's bigger. Um, so that's that done, and what's this? Chromotherapy required. Uh, some patient here. 
I don't know how far we're at. We're only 73 on that, so that sucks. Uh, we've done another toilet here. We've moved the pharmacy uh, from over here to here, and we've also put in a brand new um, GP's office in that. So let's see how many doctors we've got. We've got quite a few, uh, quite a few doctors, but it doesn't seem. Three out of seven patients, really? Wow, that is so bad. So yeah, this one's proven to be quite uh, quite difficult, guys. It's um, it's taking quite a long time to uh, to do, uh, but I just think that um, that's because of the amount of doctors and stuff that I've got at my disposal. Um, how many do we have at the moment? Six. So four of them are currently in use in the GP, so that means at least two of them to float around to do other things. Which isn't a lot, to be fair. Um, so let's actually hire a couple more. We want uh, eight of them. We're okay for nurses. I don't think we're too bad for nurses at the moment, which is good. Unfortunately, I've got to send you home for chromotherapy. I've not got cure for that yet. More effective. Not now. Fire as well. Heart rate is two. Easy scan two is fine. Can't upgrade that. Can't upgrade the drug mixer. Can't upgrade the deluxe looks either. I can't upgrade the research machines. Upgrade extractor pan though. I've got too much money left. I'm hoping that we can get this chromotherapy research done pretty quickly so I can get this first star sort of ticked off. Um, it's taking quite a while to, uh, to do this to be fair. Looks like the research for the uh, chromotherapy project is nearly done though. The research is just looks like they're taking a break right now. Doctor wanted in research. So I have a new hobby now, beekeeping. I only have three bees for now. Oh Not as easy update. to catch as you'd think. Tarquin Foxbridge has sent us a handwritten note following his visit to the hospital. I'm saddened to say that you're performing to an adequate standard. My professional integrity implores you to improve in every way. My personal desires, however, ask you to crash and burn in as amusing as fashion as possible. Simply be more interesting. Thanks for that, Tarquin. Um, I'm trying my best here. We're not doing very well, though. Not doing very well at all in this particular level. Another staff promotion. Hannibal Butthurt. I really didn't realise that I'd, I'd hired somebody called Hannibal Butthurt. <laughs> but apparently we have. So there we go. Are you can complete this research for me, please. Uh, there we go. Well done, we've completed a research project. This discovery can be used across the whole organisation. When a project is completed, researchers will look for work elsewhere unless we kick off another project. As we make new discoveries and travel to new parts of the uh, county, our boffins will propose new areas for research. Keep your eyes peeled for new projects. Okay, um, so does that mean we've got another room? Oh, the chromotherapy room. Let's see how big this needs to be. Oh, it needs to be like 4x4, four four. so that's what we'll keep it, I guess. Um, I don't really know what chromotherapy is. Looks interesting, to say the least. Bin, fire extinguisher, or plants. Radiator somewhere. It's 
some windows in. There you go. Now we just got to cure one patient in chromotherapy. Now it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Because I don't think I've ever seen chromotherapy before. I don't think you guys have ever seen chromotherapy before either. So, research complete, cure 10 patients, whatever. Upgrade, fluid analysis. Injection room. Okay. There's loads of new stuff that we can uh, we can do. I'm just going to leave it for the moment. There's a lot of people waiting for psychiatry though, which is kind of a bit of a worry. Um, I think we're going to have to build another psychiatrist room at some point, definitely. I don't know where we're going to squeeze it in. Perhaps if we make this smaller. Because um, there's not really many people using it. I'll build it, but a lot more people are using this one. Here we go. Then we've got somebody coming in. Use the colorizer. Yeah, there's this guy right here. Boris Maverick. Let's have a look what happens. Okay, so it sprays him with uh, with paint. I like it. There we go. One Star Hospital, congratulations! Your hospital has been awarded a one star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. It bodes well that your organisation has begun to dabble in research. Our initial notes suggested, wrongly it seems, that you weren't well suited to this particular task. Rest assured that whoever was responsible for such an off the mark remark will be losing their job forthwith. Unless it was me, of course. Perish the thought. Continue with your studies for more rewards, or go elsewhere and expand your organisation. Yours fragrantly, Tarquin Foxbridge. Thanks Tarquin, you gave us a lovely review earlier, it was really nice of you. Um, but there we go guys, so, I've got the one star objectives done. Now, as I said to you earlier on in this video at the start, rather at the start of the video, um, what I think I'm going to do now um, is I'm just going to do one star. Um, so in the next episode we are going to move on to the next level in the game. Um, so I'm just going to pop out into the map here so I can show you guys. And it is Tumble. Uh, treat all manner of breaks and bruises in this sub... Sub... Subalpine playground. Sub... Subalpine? I'm not... Yeah, anyway. Um, the county's home for hiking, fishing and falling down. So it looks like we're going to be repairing a lot of bones here. Um, but yes, that'll be in the next episode, guys. So... If you have indeed enjoyed the video, please do leave a like on the on the video. And uh, next, if you've uh, got any comments or any suggestions or anything for me, leave them in the comment section down below. And lastly, if you're not already done so, if it's the first time visiting the channel, please do subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. And it's just uh, nice to see that guys are liking my content. So, yes, until the next one, guys. Peace out.